When I was a kid, I drew a picture of my dream car, but I didn't know how to build it. But now that I'm an adult, I have perfected the design. And I still don't know how to build it. Now you might have noticed something funny about my dream car. The fact that it only has one big tire. And that's because my dream car isn't a car at all. It's actually a mono wheel, and I have no idea how to build one. Now I've built a lot of things in my life and I never really know where to start with any of them. So what do I do? I just start anyway. Well, first things first, this thing is way too heavy. So I gotta figure out a way to make this thing easier to work with. And there's only one way to make a giant tire like this easier to work with. It was gonna be tough and it was gonna be dangerous. Really the only thing I could do here was try to cut some weight off the sides of the tire because I don't think I need the sides. Hey. Can you stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so cutting through a tire is definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Right behind graduating fourth grade. Like, for real, I was only halfway through one side and I felt like my arm was gonna fall off. Okay, one side down. Now we gotta cut out the other side. So far, it's not feeling any lighter. Now, as much as my arms hurt from literal hours of sawing, I knew it was all gonna be worth it once I was driving around in my super cool off-road mono wheel. Okay, so this is still really heavy. And it does not like to stand up by itself, which is gonna make it really difficult to work on. So I gotta build some sort of stand to keep this thing upright. <laughs> Sorry, I just really like this song. If you haven't noticed, I kinda use it all the time in my videos. But um, yeah, I built this stand and it just it wasn't great, honestly. It was just just wasn't great at all. It was honestly just kind of embarrassing. This was beginning to be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. How was I supposed to make a mono wheel when I couldn't even get this tire to stay upright? And I only had one more idea left in mind. Now I know I have a table in here somewhere, and if I flip it upside down, it'll hold that tire upright perfectly. But where is it? Ah. Of course. What up, purple dude? Think I could take this thing to prop my tire up? No way, I need it for my lemonade stand stand. You mean you you mean a lemonade stand? No. Do you sell lemonade? No. It's a lemonade stand stand. I sell lemonade stands. Uh, I'm, I'm taking this. Bro, come on, you always do this. You always do this. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well now that I could actually work on this thing, it was time to work on this thing. Okay, so basically I need some sort of vehicle to ride on inside of the tire. So that way when the tire gets spinning, I'll be chilling at the bottom while the tire spins around me. Now I only had one vehicle in mind, but I didn't really think it was gonna work. It was this motorcycle that I once built out of trash, and just as I thought, it wasn't exactly cut out for the job. So the problem with the motorcycle is that all the weight is in the back, so I would just flip right over. So I was unfortunately just gonna have to build something from scratch. And then I saw it. This electric skateboard, of course. Now this might be exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, well, maybe not exactly, but we were getting there. Okay, so the problem with this is that it only has one hub motor on it. And only having one motor on one side gives us two problems. One, it is not gonna have enough power to move this massive tire. Two, it's gonna have uneven power on either side. So it's gonna keep turning inside the tire like this. So this wasn't gonna work, but I was on the right track. And then I remembered that I actually have an electric skateboard with dual hub motors on it. All right, and... Whoa, 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 yo, what? That's pretty crazy. Okay, electric skateboard is definitely the way to go and it stays inside the tire just perfectly. Now the only problem is, is I can't just ride the skateboard inside a tire like this. I'm gonna need a seat and some handlebars to keep me in an upright position like this. So I went inside and bought all the supplies I would need to build a vehicle. Sir, can I interest you in a lemonade stand?
Well, all the supplies were here, and the first thing I needed to do on this vehicle was to build some sort of seat for me to sit on, and honestly, it came out pretty comfortable. Next up was the handlebars, and those went pretty smooth. No complaints over here. It was looking pretty good. Okay, now this thing looks crazy and really fun. Okay, now obviously, before I test it out in the tire, I gotta take it for a test drive. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, you know, you know what? We're, we're we're just gonna test drive this later. Okay, it is officially time to try this out. Okay, so the first test drive in the tire just wasn't good at all. The tire wasn't moving very well. The balance wasn't there. It just oh, no! oh. it just wasn't good. Okay, so we've got a really big problem. This skateboard does not have enough power to move this whole tire. And there's only one way to get more power, and that is to get more motors. Okay, it was now time to add a second skateboard to the back of the current skateboard to increase the speed. Done. Okay, this thing looks really weird. And there is no way this thing isn't super fast. So I've got the speedometer app right here, and we're going to see exactly how fast this thing goes. My guess is that this is going to go at least 30 miles an hour. Dare I say... Th th 31? Th 31 miles an hour? Okay, five miles an hour, nice and easy. I'm ready to get some speed. I live for the speed. I'm addicted to the speed. And I'm also addicted to drinking water. Thanks to this air up bottle that makes my boring water taste amazing. 10 miles an hour. Now I know what you're thinking. Jake, what's your calf routine? But I know you're also thinking, how does a water bottle make water taste better? Well, it's actually pretty simple. 15 miles an hour. Our sponsor, Arab, has these flavor pods that can stick out the nozzle of the bottle. So when you take a sip, you're not actually tasting the flavor, you're smelling it through your mouth. 20 miles an hour, this is getting crazy. What's even crazier is that Arab has tons of flavors to choose from, making the healthy choice of drinking water way easier to make. 25 miles an hour. I think it's time we make the second motor. Here we go. And the best part is, Air Up makes your hydration experience fun and delicious without chemicals or sweeteners. It's literally just regular water. 28 miles an hour, we're almost there! Now this beautiful high quality stainless steel bottle will keep your water cold for up to 14 hours. Okay, I think we've hit our top speed here! 33 miles an hour! Let's go! Try Air Up yourself. Click the link in the description and use code Jake to get 10% off. Okay, well now that I knew I had enough speed to make this work, I just had to make a few adjustments first. And no, I did not make that rhyme on purpose. That was entirely by accident. I actually did have to make some adjustments here because this tire is round and the skateboard mechanism was not round. So I kind of had to fix that. Now round two of trying it inside the tire here was going a little bit better, but there was still some pretty big fundamental issues. Like for instance, the balance was still just not great at all. And and it wasn't going very fast without me using my feet. Okay, so I, I figured out the problem here. I am it, totally like riding this tire like sideways right now. I think I messed up the tire. Okay, so I'm starting to think I shouldn't have cut the sides off the tire. Here's why. The sides of these tires are really strong. So when you cut them off, the tire loses a lot of its strength. And when it loses its strength, it starts to warp and relax. And over the last few days, this tire has relaxed so much that it's like super wide now. So instead of the boards tightly sitting in there like a track, they're moving all over the place, causing all sorts of problems. So unfortunately, this tire just isn't gonna work. Things were not looking good. I was feeling totally defeated. I only had one tire and I messed it up. And worst of all, I smelled really bad. What? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, huh? You can't even smell me. I don't need to, I can just tell. See, so yeah, things were pretty tough and it was just turning out to be kind of a bad day. And I was pretty much ready to call it quits until something unexpected happened. Hey, where'd you get that? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, wouldn't you? Yup. Remember my lemonade stand stand? Boy, do I. Well, my company got acquired. What? Yep. $16. I bought this tire. I'm gonna roll down a hill in it. Or you can give it to me. Well, what do you need it for? So this goes inside the tire? Yeah, it's gonna be nuts. Okay, it's all yours. 
Okay, now with a brand new tire acquired, it was time to get back to work. Okay, so we got a little problem. This thing is not gonna fit inside the tire. So I basically had to take apart the whole back end of this thing to try and get it to fit inside the tire. But of course that didn't work. So I ended up having to take apart the whole seat and rebuild it so it would fit inside the new tire. I basically had to redo everything. Dude. What? You're really distracting me. I'm just really excited about the build. I get that, and I understand it, but like, you gotta stop. You know, it just dawned on me that I've had to do everything on this build twice now. So I literally could have just made two of these things, but uh... <laughs> God, sorry, fly just flew into my mouth. Oh, <clears throat> well anyway, we were uh, just about done. Now this thing's looking crazy and I think we're almost done. I'm thinking it's gonna need one more thing. Yeah, just one more little thing. And I think that this thing is gonna be the thing that makes my dream come to life. And it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> Sometimes we have a dream and we put that dream on a piece of paper. We don't know where to start, but we start anyway, because we know that eventually these dreams can become a reality. And it's gonna be tough, and you might have to completely start over. But whatever you do, don't let your dreams die on a piece of paper. I'm good. That's all I got. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. You bought it? Yeah, dude. All he wanted was $16. That is crazy. I know, right? That'll never work.